I'm about to show you a free DaVinci Resolve plugin that replicates one of the most popular effects from my channel. But first, story time. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you might remember a few years ago when I put out a tutorial where I created a simple screen pump effect on the edit page. It was quick, it was easy, and for some reason, it was a really big hit. Fast forward to a couple weeks ago when I was talking with Patrick Sterling. You guys know Patrick, right? The Fusion Master? Nope, he'll be linked below. You should definitely check him out. Anyway, I'm talking to Patrick about this effect and he goes, I bet we could turn this into a preset for DaVinci Resolve. And I was like, yeah? And he was like, yeah. And I think we could make it so it automatically syncs with the music in the video. And I was like, yeah? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, yeah. By the way, those drawings were from my friend Max over at Nerdy Maniacs. They're linked below as well. Anyway, we talked about what we wanted the effect to do, what kind of settings we should have, and then he went out and made it. And guys, this thing's amazing. And the best part, we're giving it away for free. Make sure to stick around to find out how you can get your hands on it. For now though, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how to use this effect and all of the stuff that it can do. Here in the edit page, I have a short sequence built out and we wanna put a screen pump effect on it. To do this, we'll open up our effects library, head down to effects, drag an adjustment clip onto our timeline and stretch it out to fill the length of the sequence. Then head back to the effects library, hit the effects drop down arrow, click on Sterling Supply Co and drag the screen pump effect onto your adjustment clip. By the way, if you want to know how to actually install this effect in the first place, Patrick put out a super easy to follow tutorial all about that. I'll have it linked below. For now, select your adjustment clip, head to the inspector and you'll find the settings for the screen pump effect in the effects tab under Fusion. Now, there are a lot of settings that you can adjust here but before we do any of that, we need a very important piece of information, and that's the beats per minute of the song that we're using. So let's take a look at exactly how we can get that information, courtesy of today's sponsor, Artlist. Look, you guys know the deal by now. You know that Artlist is where I get all of the music and all of the sound effects that I use in all of my video projects. And there are a few reasons for that. First of all, they have a huge selection of high quality music and sound effects, and they're super easy to find thanks to all of the detailed search filters and categories you can use, not to mention the For You page where you can find music that Artlist thinks you'll like based on music that you've downloaded in the past. Plus, you can get all the information you need about a piece of music simply by clicking on the song. This is actually the song we're using in our timeline, and as you can see, we can find out the mood, the types of videos this song would be good for, the instruments that were used, the beats per minute, and even similar songs. Artlist has something for everyone with three plans to choose from. You've got the Creator Pro plan with the unlimited license that lets you use their entire catalog on any video project anywhere, the Social Creator plan that lets you use their music and sound effects on YouTube and social media, and their brand new Teams plan, which is perfect for, well, teams. Artlist will be linked below if you want to check them out. And if you sign up using that link, you'll get two free months on top of an annual subscription, which is a pretty sweet deal. So thanks to Artlist for sponsoring this video. And now that we know the beats per minute of our song, let's head back to DaVinci Resolve. Back in the inspector, we can change our BPM to 90. For now, we'll keep the intensity at 0.5 and disable all of the other settings. Now, if we press play, we can see that we have a screen pump that's perfectly in sync with the music. But it doesn't stop there. We also have settings for shake, rotation, saturation, gain, hue, and blur. And all of these settings can be keyframed. So there really are just a ton of things that you can do with this effect. In fact, everything in this sequence were all made with the screen pump effect. Enjoy.
If you want to get your hands on the screen pump effect, the link in the description will take you to my Kofi page. Is it Kofi? Kofi? coffee either way that's where you can download the effect so go download it it's a hundred percent free and uh and then come back here let me know what you think about it in the comments and then if you want to learn about how i created this effect manually in the first place watch this video right here and until next time don't forget to go out and make stuff thanks for watching